Being a minister for me is about helping everyone, whether they're a Christian or not really, to discover what it means to live life in all its fullness, to find out what God means for them and to find out what it means in their daily life. And that's what it's been like for me in every stage of my life as a young woman, as a young mum, as somebody training for ministry in that period. It's been about finding what God wants for me and how to know that, how to know what to do. I long to help people to know what to do next. For me, there was a service I went to once where there was a missionary who was normally somebody really verbose. He talked for hours and the vicar was a bit worried that he was going to talk for too long. So instead of letting him talk, he just asked him questions. And at the very end of asking him questions about his life, he said if there was somebody here today who thought that God was calling them to do something, what would you recommend that they do? And he said, take the next step. That's all he said. But it was like somebody thumped me in the tummy. I just knew that I'd got to take the next step, that I couldn't avoid any more doing what I thought might happen. I thought that maybe God was calling me to ministry, but actually I thought that would be in the future, not at the moment, because there were too many things in my life that would muddle it and that would mean that people would say no. But somehow just taking the next step was the right thing to do. Just having a go. And that's what I did. I wrote a letter. That's my next step. My letter was to a missionary society to say, um, were they interested in using someone like me? And from there, I've grown to being a missionary in Congo, to being a minister in the Church of England. And all the time, having times, time and time again, when I've not quite known what God wanted, but knowing that actually if I took the next step, he would show me what was right and what was wrong in my life. In some ways, um, it, it's more difficult being a Christian with a collar around your neck because you feel that you're supposed to be a Christian. And uh, when I'm talking to other people about my faith, if I'm wanting to talk about it, I feel that they'll be thinking, well, she would say that, wouldn't she? Rather than actually just because it's something that's really important to me, something I'm passionate about. But in other ways, it's the greatest privilege that there is to be able to spend my time being paid to pray, to work with people, to love them, to be with them in times which are difficult and hard for them and in times that are joyous and amazing for them. So it's great. That's not to say it's not been a struggle as a Christian. There have been dark times, times when I've needed other people to pray for me rather than me praying for them. There have been times when I have found it hard to know uh, what God was calling me to be as a Christian mum, as a woman going through divorce, through all sorts of things in my life. That there's, there's been times that are hard, but actually all that time I've known, even when I've questioned that God was with me, that I've known that God's people are with me. So together I've been able to come to the place now where I hope that even if I go through hard times I know that God is there with me.